Hey guys, we're here in the graveyard where I killed the worshipper, and you may notice I'm playing as a different character now. Uh, if you want an explanation for why I'm playing as this character, keep watching. If you don't want to hear this and just want to see more gameplay, just skip ahead until you see me not standing here in this grave. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. A little seizure. If you want to skip this explanation, just skip ahead until the video is no longer me standing in this graveyard. But I want to explain something, and that is, I was playing as the rogue, and I was getting really frustrated. I, I, yesterday I recorded for three hours, and I'm not showing you guys that footage because I think it's bad footage, because it's just me being bitter and annoyed and unhappy playing a game and not having fun, so who wants to watch any of that, really? But what I did is, oh my god, that lens flare. Uh, I'm playing now as a warrior with really heavy armor and a crazy, scary weapon, and you know what? It kind of makes the game easier, because, you know, suddenly I'm taking 10% the damage I used to take, or at least it seems like that, like that, and I have a big scary weapon. It's like, you, if you haven't seen it yet, watch me, watch 6.1, the bonus video, which is this new strength build versus the Worshipper. I killed the Worshipper in like two minutes, and it was easy. I healed once, and like, I didn't do any extra grinding. I'm not, like, I didn't, I didn't farm or anything. I just made a new character and came here again. And then I obliterated that boss, and it was no big deal. So, like, playing as a rogue seems to be a crazy hard mode, and... If you, and here's my little evidence here, on top of everything. Look at this. Here's the trophies for Lords of the Fallen. Like always, they're sorted by difficulty, because I always sort trophies by their chance... the percentage of people who have them. And, like, the rarest thing that we have a name, a description for, is my private stash. Get 12 special weapons, so it's, it's a get rare stuff achievement. It's the rarest one in the game. But the next rarest one that they tell us, that's not hidden, because it's probably those ones are probably story or something, is complete the game as a rogue. Yeah, 0.4% of people have beaten the game as a rogue. And even then, that doesn't tell us anything, because those people who beat the game as a rogue may, because classes don't necessarily mean all that much in this game, they may have even bulked up in armor the way I was planning on doing with my rogue anyway, when I was getting really frustrated. So even those people might not have even beaten the game legitimately as a rogue. That's how amazingly rare it is to actually beat the game with a speed build. Now, this game might be like Dark Souls, which had a hidden depth to it, and people only discovered how to play it over time. And if that's the case, if I come back here, th if, like, in three weeks or something, and check the subreddits and do a little research, people may have cracked the code and figured out exactly how to play as a strength, as a, as a, a dexterity, I'm sorry, agility build, or, you know, low armor, fast speed builds. People may have figured out how to play them properly. Or... And I'm sorry to say this, this game's made by developers who are the people behind Sniper, Ghost Warrior, and Venetica, are the, t the two developers. Like that's, and those are like the most noteworthy games they've ever made. They've made dozens of other games that you've never heard of or you've only heard bad things about. So, unfortunately, with all the glitches and the way this game seems rushed out, the, it might just not be viable to play a speed build. It just might not be a viable way of playing the game, because they may have just never finished that part. And I'm sorry to say that, but it very well could be true. And maybe they'll, maybe people will crack the code because it has, the game has hidden depth and maybe I'll be doing a second playthrough as a fast build later on. The game doesn't seem very long, so I'd actually be open for doing that if people can figure it out. Or maybe a patch will come out that balances the game again. But uh, when I was playing, every direction I went into had me facing off against with people with huge armor and really dangerous attacks where literally getting hit once could kill me instantly. I could die instantly as my rogue, and that was bullshit to me. And if I didn't die instantly, I still had to heal, which means I could only heal like six times, and then I'd be out of potions, and that didn't seem fair to me, because I'd, ha I'd have to play clear an entire area without only getting hit like six times total. That's like some soul level one bullshit where you're like doing a, an intentionally hard version of a gameplay, of a, of a playthrough, just because you want to uh, show off how no well you know the game, but I'm just trying to learn the game. This is my first playthrough, and I don't think that's a good way of approaching things. So that's why I'm switching to this build that I think is easier. There's a few things that are different in this playthrough, so I want to explain that because I did find something. Uh, this is my last little point I want to cover, but yet yeah, I'm sorry if I'm sorry if this is inconvenient to you guys. I'm sorry if I pissed you off by switching builds because you really want to see a rogue build, but at some point. I want to create videos for you guys, and I'm not going to show. I'm not going to create video because if I'm not if I'm not progressing, so this is pretty much the only way you're going to get videos for now. And maybe I'll come back to the rogue later. But something to explain is that when I was in the early area before I fought the commander, you may have noticed that there was a item on a ledge they had to jump down to. I saw it. I made note of it, but for some reason I didn't come back to it. In this playthrough, I did grab that, and it opens up a little area, and that's where you get Velka's dagger or Vetka's dagger, the lady's dagger that she wants. So I gave her the dagger because it was there, 
and uh, that she in return gave me a key to the uh, catacombs. So the catacombs are actually that over there, that door you see off in the distance. I'll get to that later, but first we're going to go deal with NPCs over here. But that's what happened. That's about it. Everything else, I just covered the same ground as before. No new bosses are cut, were killed off screen or anything like that. So don't worry about missing much. The, the area I went to to get the dagger only had the same enemies I'd already fought before. So there, it was nothing new. It was actually literally the same rooms I'd been in before, but just copy-pasted. Because that game, this game seems to do that a lot, unfortunately. So on with the story. Let's continue our playthrough. Actually, let's show, show you the gear really quick. You'll notice I have 22.5 out of 23 weight. So here is, um, I'm wearing the symmetry armor right now, because that's just, according to the game at least, the, the calculation it has, that's the highest defense equipment I have. And I just have enough, I just barely have enough strength to wield it. Uh, I figured out what happened with that bonfire, I mean not the bonfire, the, 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 the uh, shit, what's it called? The beacon I, I lit earlier. I found a quest item called Bloody Flint, and I used that on the beacon to light it, so that's how I lit it. I guess a lot of the quest items in this game, besides the keys obviously, are things you just sort of find and you just have to find a use for them. And so that's what happened with the bloody flint and the beacon and that's why I suddenly got experience for interacting with it. Uh, everything is pretty much exactly how you remember. I just have a, I have, a, I have a, the guardsman axe is what I'm using right now. Fate is a, is a weapon that I found when I first, uh, when I went to that area with the, uh, the uh, Vetka's dagger. It's kind of handy because if you sprint and run you have this nice overhead swing. It's a relatively it's relatively fast for a uh, strength weapon, so you may you may see me switch back to it even though it does less damage just because it's a fast weapon. I'm using the guardsman's axe or whatever it's called, and it's it's very slow but very strong. So we'll see if it's effective for guard breaking or if it, if I find it too slow to operate function and function properly. Sorry for the rant, guys, or the ex extended description. I know it kind of pauses the video for a while. You'll this will probably be a bonus length video to accommodate the rant. And I guess we'll we'll get on with the game. We'll get on with the game now. Thanks for watching, guys. Good. You've made it this far. I was worried, but I guess the scythe just couldn't keep up with you. I've faced worse. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Kazlo. Meet Yetka. She's looking for whatever she's trying to find. You don't know the half of it, Harkin. I can see you've picked up a monk. The last one I met, I dumped. Charming. You know how to break ice in conversation, don't you? Yetka, let me guess. You have business here. Miss this? Not a chance. There's a wealth of buried treasure over there, and I intend to take my share. What's on the other side of the pathway? It separates our world from the Rogar realm. It leads to an abandoned temple that once belonged to humans. The Rogar are attacking from there, and Tanis bade me go there and do whatever is in my power to stop the Rogar invasion. How will this lead us to Antanas? It won't. Not yet. The first thing we need to do is to make the area safe. And when I say we, I mean you. These injuries would make me more of a hindrance than asset to our cause. I work better alone anyway. Enter the pathway now, Harkin. Find a way to stop the Rogar Lords. Only once they're stopped, we can meet with Antanas. Huzzah! The thing that looked kind of like a gate turns out is totally a gate. And you can walk through it and stuff, so that's neat. <laughs> Hello, lady. What is taking you so long? Oh, fuck off. I don't know you shit. Bef before we go there, I want to backtrack because right up this slope, there was that demon portal. I think we should go investigate. It'll give us a nice moment to get used to the combat, too. Hello. You're dead. Wow, look at that. Forgive my, uh, constant smartass remarks, but, uh, ow. Wow, he actually interrupted my midair swing. Down you go. There we go. I can't help but feel like, as a rogue, you're all, you're, you should be all about dealing damage, right? That's like the point, because you're hard to, you're really easy to kill. But this character, if you play as a knight in this game, or a, I mean a warrior, you're both uh, hard to kill and you deal a ton of damage. It's like, so what's the downside? I guess you have you you have a funny role. Is the downside basically? 
Down you go. This is this is basically down the downside. <laughs> it looks really awkward. It's not. You can occasionally roll from one attack if it looks like it's going to be really bad. You want to get out of the way, but really, you just have to get. You just have to block a lot of things. That's pretty much how it goes. But look at that. Fought those three guys. Took a tiny sliver of health off. If I fought those guys on my rogue, unless I went per unless I went perfectly and I obliterated them all on my first try without, the, without taking any hits, I would have to use one or two healing potions just just for that one encounter. So here we have another one of these gates. They're definitely different from each other. Welcome to the Proving Grounds. Here you will have to stand your ground against different w ways of enemies during your reward. Okay, I didn't finish reading that because there, I got stuck on the typo. I'm gonna have to fight against different ways of enemies. Not waves, but ways. Different ways of enemies. That's not... I don't think that makes any sense. Maybe it's a weird turn of speech. I don't know. I don't think that's a thing that makes sense. It's probably a typo. It's, it's probably supposed to say different waves. Hello, kind sirs. I'm just going to kindly shoot you with my gauntlet while you're over there. Because I'd prefer to fight you one at a time if at all possible. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> that, that fat roll's amazing. Ow! Okay. You have to be careful here. Let's back off a bit. The guy with the, the two-handed weapon is more likely to chase me than the other one is, probably. So let's get ready to deal with him. I, my, I have two magic spells that I can cast, besides my gauntlet, of course. Uh, nope, that wasn't in range, which is impressive because it's a very big weapon. Let's just try to hit this dude. There we go, he's down. Took a little bit of a hit, but it's okay. Ow! Oh, Jesus. He definitely interrupted my ability. Ow! Careful. This, I'm definitely feeling the slowness of this weapon. This, this weapon was very handy against the last boss I fought because it was so slow. I mean, not because it was slow, but it, the slowness was not the problem, basically. Uh, I could just pummel people and just, I could pummel the worshiper into submission because he doesn't... He has all those moments where he's not fighting you directly. We have a crossbowman. That's our first problem because the crossbow dude will totally cause us problems. Uh, let's ram him. Show you that ability. Fuck you! Isn't that great? I can just launch a person at him. Ow! And he launched an arrow back. Ow. Okay, I'm taking hits. He just, <laughs> he just tried to fat roll away. Okay, I'm taking a lot of hits, so we're definitely going to use my first healing potion of this encounter. Hello, sir. Would you, could you kindly shut up? Ow! Okay. Okay, he's rolling away, so that's a good time to heal. Hey, sir. Hit. Fuck you! Oh my god, he died in one hit. Where'd the other guy go? Did he... I didn't even see the other guy die. Maybe I hit him on accident, because he is a shitty little... Undead infected dude type guy. A dude type guy, that's a sentence I just said. So I have done this before in my rogue, so I'm not entirely surprised by it. Uh, even the typo didn't surprise me, I knew about that already, sorry. But here's where I ran into trouble. I, I fought these two guys, fought the undead dude, and I was like, oh yeah, he's no big deal. Then the sword guy, he, hit, he literally killed me in one hit. Like, I finally got hit by him after dodging a whole bunch of hits, and that one hit killed me. I'm like, well, that seems off. Ow, dick. Let's ram that guy. Okay. Oh, oh, cool. He ran. He actually ran through the other guy to hit him. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's gonna try to cycle around because I'm trying to kill the little guy. Oh, this weapon is a little rough to use. Okay, I'm, I give up on this weapon for now. Let's use the fate. The fate axe is handy. It's just so much faster. See that? See that? It's a reasonable swing. It's like using a long... It's kind of like using the, uh... It reminds me of using, what's it called? The weapon in Dark Souls I like to use in early game. The Claymore. There we go. Charge! Oh, that did not stagger him. It hurt him, though, through his shield, which is good, because his shield's a problem. So these guys are bastards. I don't know if you guys... I don't think you guys saw them in my rogue playthrough. I definitely encountered them in my rogue playthrough, but that's, in, that's part of the rage quit part of the game. You'll notice he has a nice big shield, and he's always pointing it at you. It's very difficult to get past it. I'm gonna try shield charging this guy. Let's try that. Good. There we go. Okay, I didn't really get not. Okay, that didn't quite work out, because I didn't get to follow it up very well. Get to heal, though, and let's, let's ram him again. There we go. Come on, sir, you wanna charge me? You wanna charge me? Power attack! There we go. Okay, he still got his attack through, though, so it's not a great strategy. Because when they charge you, you can get an attack off. There we go. That one worked out better. If I time it better, I can do it. Was that the end of it? 
I did a lot of text pop up, popped up on the screen, but by the time I noticed it, it literally disappeared immediately. Oh, chest. That's it. Coolio. I actually hadn't beaten this before, so I didn't know that that was the end. Can I get the item? Maybe I'll leave and come back? Can I please pick up the item? It's not giving me a prompt to pick up the There we go. Weird. I got backbreaker armor and an, ooh, an attribute short shard and a spell point shard. Fuck yes, I want more. I will absolutely take uh, the ability to level up more. And what's the backbreaker armor? That's the quest items, my bad. Uh, backbreaker. A long time ago, the trinket was used by the traveling merchants and worn by animals to increase their ability to carry more goods. However, nowadays, th there's not many traveling salesmen and every warrior must be his own pack mule. Okay. The, the current one says that it re regenerates my spellcrafting my spellcrafting powers. Let's try the backbreaker. Wow, it gives me five more weight capacity. That means I can probably wear a much heavier shield. Yeah, we can. I was just 0.5 short sh uh, sh shy of being able to use the shield before, but now I can wield it. So that's cool. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'll probably stick with this axe because it's it's much faster and that seems more just seems more usable, honestly check into this place, and I'll use those new points I just got. Uh, do I have enough experience to level up? Not quite. How am I doing on my spellcasting? So, I could upgrade RAM if I got 15 faith. The problem is how much faith do I have? I have 12 faith. So with 3 attribute points, I could get enough faith to upgrade RAM again, which might be worthwhile, because RAM... Being able to just throw somebody at someone is really handy, as you saw in that fight. It was, especially since it seems to charge through people. So that's handy. I'll put my points into attribute for now. But I only have the one point for now, so... Should I put it into faith for now, or should into strength again? It wouldn't hurt to be able to do another spell, but it might be too early in the game to invest like that, too. I do have another spell point regardless, though. So should I spend that, or should I save it? I could invest in a new spell, or I could stick with ram. For now, I think I might save the spell point for when I'm able to purchase RAM, when I hit 15 faith. So maybe I should start, uh, maybe I should start it forward in faith. It'd be handy to have more. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna commit. Let's get some more magic. Because having it is certainly handy. So we'll go right back outside, and I'll see you guys back at that one, back at the NPCs. So I can go through that portal. Alrighty, let's go through this gate now. I can't believe it. It's not a chamber. It's a whole other world. It looks familiar, but like a child's memory. It's twisted, broken. That ray of light, is this the device you're looking for? I won't go with you. You'll only slow me down. Well, see you around, big head. Maybe. Vetka really is just the most insufferable person, isn't she? <laughs> Every thing that she ever says is just like, Hey, I'm just gonna be a bitch to you for no good reason. Never mind that I'm the only person... You're the only person that's helping me in this environment, and I'm, I'm really kind of off on my own, and everyone's gonna get me killed. So we have some very crumbly-looking stairs here. Do we have some... We have some cliffs. Would not want to go down those. Hopefully I don't have to fight anyone around them. Hello, sir. Idiots. He took his leaden sword in hand. You can speak. As can you. Imagine my surprise. What are you? I don't know. I do not abide the mortal laws. I left the realm of men a hundred lifetimes ago. I do not have a name. I don't remember it. And it does not matter here. You left the realm of men? From the moment the universes were born, they began to die. It's inevitable. Nothing stays the same. Even you are changing in this moment. Right in front of me. And I in front of you. This is absurd. It does not matter much which way you go. What are you doing here? Something is searching for me. Something of high value. It will arrive 
By and by. What do you mean? It will come when the Rogar go. The Rogar are not leaving anytime soon. Coming and going. Going and coming. It makes no difference to me. What is this precious thing you seek? It is a crystal. A very special crystal. A crystal that can render tear between the realms. A tear powerful enough to distort other ruptures. The Rogar could be using that crystal to enter our world. You will find the crystal itself in the place of power. A place where all energy gathers. Take it away, and the Rogar Lords will travel no more. Then, bring it back to me. Yes. These tools, are you a smithy of some sort? In some ways, yes. You could say so. I do have dealings with weapons and the like. Craft something for me. You ask me for a glass of water, and I could give you the ocean. Give me the ocean, then. Show me one of your runes, and with this rune, you can imbue any weapon you like. This is the page for breaking sealed runes. You can select the type of sealed rune you want to break using the D-pad. After you've made the selection, you can bet gained experience to increase your chance of gaining a higher quality rune using R2. Once you're happy with your choice, hold X to break the sealed rune. This is where your, your broken seals go. And this is information about the runes, which would be more informative if there currently had any. So, from here, you can invest experience to try to get a rune. So let's try one of our big runes. We'll, we'll bet our current experience. Why not? Let's see what happens. We got a flawless power rune. Whatever that means. So let's, let's take a look at what it does. Uh, so you can add it to a ga your gauntlets if you want to add different effects on them. It makes your projectile burst through your enemies. It makes your blast slam the ground creating a shockwave knocking people off. Knocking enemies off. Do they mean knocking them over? This game is definitely translated from a European language, so they're not quite... It's not quite right. <laughs> explosive gauntlet. Throws an explosive bomb spawning multiple smaller ones while bursting. That could be fun. Uh, or you can put it in your weapon for 6 damage, your, your armor for plus 18 defense, or your shield for 10 block. Wow, putting that in armor for 10 defense actually sounds kind of amazing. I mean, 18 defense, is that what it said? I think it said 18 defense. So let's see if, do, does my current equipment have, I do have an empty socket in my chest piece. What if I just put it in my uh, chest piece, huh? Wait, where'd my runes go? Select item, flawless rune, okay. So this will get, go, my physical defense will go from 23 to Jesus, plus 18. I'll be up to like 40, right? Does it make it heavier though? It says defense 31. It doesn't say it increases the weight. As far as I know. We'll find out, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Now that... Okay, so the, de the defense just went from 30-ish to 50-ish, which is a pretty... That's a pretty big uh, difference, so... These runes could be something handy if I can identify them properly. Uh, and it didn't even increase my weight, so I'm even harder to kill now. If I got a, if I got a, and I know that, I know for a fact that you can get elemental ones, so if I, if I get an elemental one, I'll probably put that in my axe. Assuming my axe even has a slot, I don't know if I haven't even, even checked yet. But hey, harder to kill than ever before, let's do this. Man, I have a lot of hit points, okay. So we have a gate here. A gate with two symbols next to it. Let me guess, it's locked, that's why you're still here, isn't it, lady? I'll use this checkpoint to store my progress. Hello, lady. We owe you. Harkin, you won't believe this. See, I found this stone tablet. It's incomplete, but it's written in the language of my book of lineage. Where does it come from? I need the source. I'll see if I can find some. Right. It wouldn't hurt if you made yourself useful for a change. If I knew where they came from, I might be able to translate them. Did we wait? I opened that I opened that conversation saying we owe you. What do we owe her for? 
I don't know what we owe her for. Maybe I, I might have not quite registered something because she did come up while we were trying to open the door and maybe she gave us something to open the door and I just zoned out for a moment and didn't hear that piece of dialogue. But it sounds like... I don't remember her doing anything to help me. I just remember her being a general problem all the time. So we have some sort of fight club with people fighting downstairs. Well, not not people. Creatures are fighting downstairs. We have some new equipment, some new medium armor. Is there anything around here? Come on. I'd rather check around here than go downstairs immediately. Nothing in these pots, or at least not in the immediate ones. There's probably nothing in the pots. Oh, looks like one of them killed the other one. I just got experience. Yep, he did. And we have a huge guy over there. That's unpleasant. Let's go deal with this, I suppose. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, he found me. Okay. Pummel. Oh, nice dodge. Okay. Let's do a jump attack. Ah. I thought he was going to approach me a little bit, so I was attacking early. But he did not. Oh, they're good about dodging. Okay. Oh. They're also good about finding opportunities to attack, but <laughs> their attacks don't do a lot of damage. Man, just look how easily I dispatch these guys. I just feel like pointing that out. <laughs> look how much damage I do as this character, as opposed to my character that was specifically the type of guy that would be like an assassin dude. See, my problem with playing as a rogue is that the whole point of playing as a rogue is to be fast and lethal and mobile. And, uh, and that part, the mobile part's true. Rogues don't do a lot of damage, as far as I can tell, unless you use specific abilities under specific conditions. But, the rogues are fast, and that's good. But, the uh, environments as they go through the game, and this is kind of a double-edged sword because I'm not showing you some of this footage because I think that the commentary is overly negative and it's just not going to be a, a good experience to watch. But, it also means you don't get to see how much I was struggling and what I went through and why I decided to scrap, scrap it. I might, at one point, unleash it as, like, just one massive bonus video all at once. Like, without even, with no editing, really. Just in one episode instead of a series of episodes. That might be a way to go. Uh... I probably don't need to use my gauntlet, actually, I'm realizing. What's he throwing? He's throwing a bear trap. Blammo! I probably don't need to use my gauntlet very much, because I could probably just press triangle to use, to attack them with my, uh... Jump attack! There we go. So the jump attack was not the end of my sentence, that was just what I was doing. <laughs> Finish him! 400 experience right there. That's a lot of experience for one dude. Okie dokie. I'm up for that. Just to try to remember where his bear trap was, because I don't want to step on it. Uh, what was I trying to say? I got a little turned around by the little topics I've been covering. Uh, but like, you might think that the whole point of uh, being a rogue is being mobile and deadly, but they, were, they didn't seem very deadly. I mean, I'm like... Uh, this character's deadly. Look at the damage I do. So I just opened this gate right here, but there's a second gate. And if you notice, the symbol right here is the symbol we saw next to the gate upstairs. So there's two switches to open the gate. And it's symbolized by the fact that when you open both of them, this gate is also open. Yeah. I think you can even see the switch through here. Yeah, there's a bad guy in there, and this and yep, there's a switch. You can just barely see it over there. There's, an there's another guy standing by that, too. So we're gonna have to check out another chamber. I'll do a quick sweep, though, to see if look check to see if there's extra passageways or secrets around here. I don't know. Oh, staircase. This is a different staircase from the one that I used originally. Oh, and there's a guy waiting for me. And he shoots flaming arrows, which is kind of a problem for me, so I'm gonna have to ask him to cease and desist. That hurt, buddy. It really hurt. On the, on the inside, it hurt my feelings. Okay, can I open this portal? Of course I can. So there's a bunch of locked doors everywhere. And I don't know how to open them. And there's important looking stuff behind them. Now when I got that one key that was on that ledge at the beginning, the one I unfortunately didn't record during, so I can't show you that. Uh, it was the tower key and it opened seemingly every locked door in that region. So I guess there must be a locked key, there must be a locked door for this area. Let's me open everything. Poison res resistance shard. No, can't go there. Can I go through you? This door is blocked from the other side. This door is factually not blocked from the other side. There's nothing blocking it. I can see through the door to confirm that you're lying to me. <laughs> that is not... Just say it's locked or something. That That's valid to say. But to, uh... 
To say it's blocked on the other side is just, that's, that's a trope of video games, I get it, but when your door is a silly bone door that you can see straight through, I can tell when you're lying. <laughs> we'll check out the other side. But, uh, obviously, I'll just try to continue with this thought I keep interrupting myself on. You guys are used to this, I do this all the time. I'm terrible at continuing thoughts. Uh, I've only used one healing potion so far. I can keep building up my soul multiplier without going and leveling up quite yet. Also, might not be able to level up yet. But, uh, obviously as a rogue, the benefit is being able to go around in wide open areas and, uh, be really fast so you can outmaneuver your enemies. And unfortunately, as I was progressing, and it start, you're starting to see it here, and you saw it at the beginning of the game too, but you'll see it way more when I get to the catacombs a bit. And that's that the game... Oh, cool, he actually perfectly oriented himself for backstab. Jesus. This this axe this axe has such a prolonged and cruel combo. Ow, dick. Uh as I continue, you start fighting bigger and bigger enemies with bigger and bigger shields, and they're in smaller and smaller hallways where you can't maneuver at all really, which makes it next to impossible to outmaneuver them because you can't really maneuver in general. So, frankly, even if there's a right way to play a rogue, I I just kind of wasn't having fun, which is a problem. Because no one wants to just me watch me have no fun for eight hours straight, or however much longer this game is. I'm gonna go hide behind a wall really quick, because that hurt. Jesus. See if I can fight... Can I get... I want to get in a situation where I can fight you guys one at, a, one at a time if I can. Come here, sir. I'm gonna charge you. Yeah! That, that did not do as much damage as I was expecting it to do. Oh, wow, he actually stood back up in time to block my attack. This guy is surprisingly hard to kill. Let's finish him off. Oh, he dodged that too, okay. You're actually a formidable opponent. Unfortunately, I'm fighting you with someone else at the same time, and that makes this a little tougher. Please go down. There we go, he's dead. Now I can deal with this little problem over here. Charge! Enjoy that. Out with your organs. That The leaping attack is devastating. You get a nice big heavy weapon. If I can, I'll finish it. Yep, follow it up with a nice hit. How many? I have 2,000 experience, just like that. So we're on, we're on a good little spree here. If I can get enough experience to level up twice, then I'll have a, I'll be able to have 15 faith, which means I'll have a level two version of Ram, which means it could potentially be devastating. Right now, Ram is neat because it charges people, and it even charges through people and knocks them over, and that's nice because it's a, it's pretty versatile to have that. But as I've said throughout this playthrough. Your enemies have really fast recovery time, and that's no different with RAM, so even though it knocks people over, this is the same staircase I started on. I have to check the other staircase if I want to see more stuff. Uh, even if you can knock people over, uh, they usually stand up in time, or even uh, and raise their shield in time to still block anything you try to follow up RAM with, because RAM is a relatively slow spell, unfortunately. Like, you have to recover from it. As a general rule, your character has sl seems to have slower recovery time than anyone else you're fighting. What are these? Read. Strange signs is in an ancient language. Let's try seeing if... Nope, not that. Maybe going to the Guide of Atanas? Does this let me read it? Nope, okay. Still don't- still haven't figured out what that item does exactly. It's some sort of item that lets me see symbols somewhere. And... I ran around for a long time on my rogue, wearing that all the time, and I never really saw anything that stood out as being something that was obviously being pointed out to me by that item, so I'm, I haven't found use of it. So I'd rather wear whatever that thing is, it's probably side content that it could be missable, but I'd rather wear equipment- oh, he just fell right down. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll finish exploring and I'll deal with him later. I'd rather have something that actually gives me versatility, or I mean, in increases my character's capabilities, and this item certainly does. My current item gives me five more carrying capacity, which is not an insignificant boost. Let's see, we just got a pole sword. The Lost Pike. It has a strength requirement of 12 and scales with strength. It's a pole sword. Let's try it out. It's definitely weaker, but I want, I want to see what the movement speed is like. Oh, Jesus. What happened there? Why did... Strength requirement of 12. I have 12 strength. I see no other requirements listed on it. <gasps> uh. Okay. 
What about strong attack? Nope. So do I? Ex is it a weapon that requires two-handing, perhaps? Ooh, that's a fun move set. Strength attack. This could be a fun weapon to use potentially. What's the the running attack look like? Good. Wow, a little double combo. That could. This could be a fun weapon potentially. Although it only does 41 damage, which is significantly lower than fate. I'll stick with fate for now, but that might be a potential weapon for uh, varying amounts of versatility later. It's definitely good to have different weapons available, because you might need, need them. Let's go find that guy that fell down. Hopefully I see him before he sees me. Sir? Would you like to hear about Jesus Christ? Blammo! Ah, My thing didn't even reach him. Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. Did you fall out of the world? Oh, that's adorable. You're dead now. Yep, I can still hit him. Ow, he can hit me back. But still, I can hit him. There we go. 300 experience. Okay, it looks like I, I kind of walked into where he was stuck, and it looked like I could walk back out. Oh, right. We still have to unlock the door. There must be a... We have to find a chamber down here, right? It's probably this one. I'll have to keep an eye out for a key, because there's definitely places to use a key. Oh, he's trying to shoot at me. I'll, I'll fix that! Oh, wow. He almost died from that. Oh, God, I missed. There we go. Finish him. Oh, he has backup. I kind of forgot about the backup, to be honest. Hello, sir. You having a good time? Oh, I wasn't close enough. That, that was almost the best possible opening. Let's try to charge him with my shield. That didn't work at all. Uh, ch running and then ch shield. Fuck you. That totally worked. Okay. It's hard to tell what I'm doing, but if you're... A nice big strong enemy you can be you can go and charge people and then raise your shield and you do a shield charge which isn't very visually distinct so you might not even notice that I do it but if you if you see me run into an enemy and they fall over it's because I raised my shield and it looks like this weapon is just fast enough that I can actually follow up it follow up with another attack after I do it I might use fate for a while even though it does less damage than my other weapon just because it's so fast oh ancient plate an ancient plate quest item. An ancient plate with engravings in a language you've never seen before. Okay. Ooh. I have a theory. Let's go check out those engravings I saw upstairs, perhaps. Is it this staircase or the other one? Uh, oop. It's not this one. I'll heal real quick, just because I'm low a little bit. Uh, go across the other side. Because I saw one thing that's language I've never seen before, and another thing that's language I've never seen before. So... Maybe bringing the two together does something for me? Strange signs is an ancient language. Is there a way to equip? I can't equip it. I can just look at it. And that's it. Uh, help? Okay, that's not going to help me either. So, it's just... Nope, it's just in my inventory. So if I can interact with something, I can interact with something. And if I can't, I can't. So let's drop down. We'll go back the, up the other stairs and head back out really quick. And we'll go by Vetka and see if that gate's open now that I've flipped both the switches. Oop. Careful. Platforming. There we go. I like... Pl this is nice, actually. Yeah. I like platforming better with heavy armor, as weird as that sounds. When I platformed around with my light armor, the asshole would, like, glide weird, and he would s he would roll on the floor. I'm like, no, don't roll! And then he'd fall off ledges and shit. I'm like, don't, stop, no. But with heavy... Oh, vetka has gone. But with heavy armor, your character's just like... Uh, and he just stops immediately. Like, he just immediately stops moving, and that's handy. Let's see, does my weapon have... My weapon does have an empty socket, and I have 2,000 experience. So I could level up, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over here... And I'm gonna eat, I'm, I'm gonna try to open what unlock do the my second. Say when they speak to you. Tell me more about your dimension traveling. It would take a thousand years to explain. Give me the short version. The short version would involve me not being human anymore. So let's craft here. So I have my new spell. There we go. So I'm going to try. Let's bet my experience to make sure that I get a good rune out of this, hopefully. And... Huh, flawless fire rune. That seems handy. So, what the fire rune does... 
Can I not? Where'd the rune go? Is there a menu I can go to see my runes? Because I can't... Runes, there we go. I was like, do I not get to look at it or something? So, five, six fire damage on a weapon. Uh, fire block defense, fire defense on armor. It makes your uh, gauntlet shoot fire. On my rogue, I put this on my gauntlet. I found that kind of frustrating. Because uh, I did get a flawless fire rune on him too. Uh, it. The good news is that it makes your your gauntlet catch people on fire. The bad news, which they don't tell you here, which I think is kind of bullshit, is that they uh, make your gauntlet cost way more mana to cast. So I went from being able to cast my gauntlet three times to being able to cast it once without before I ran out of mana, which made it much harder to use. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my, uh, I'm gonna put this in my axe. There we go. So hopefully that'll give me a nice damage boost. Yeah, now it's about, now it's almost as powerful as my great axe with that extra uh, fire damage because it's ooh, I get plus six, so I get a I get a bonus of some kind from something. I don't know what that scales with necessarily, and I don't think it's gonna give me much information on what it scales with. But oh well, 